Quantum is a theory that describes the behavior of microscopic particles such as electrons or photons or atoms. And the laws that govern this behavior are very different from the laws that uh, describe how everything in our world, which we call the macroscopic world, works. Therefore, we need a different theory, and that's called the quantum theory. I think it's really exciting that we humans were able to develop a theory that is actually completely different from anything we experience in our everyday world. Because we're, we're using this theory to describe particles that are invisible to us. We've never seen them. We can observe them indirectly, but based on our observations, we know they're completely different from us. And yet, we can develop an explanation of this hidden quantum world, which tells us how the fundamental laws of the universe operate. That's, to me, amazing. Quantum computers are not just going to be yet another faster version of current computers. They will operate in a fundamentally different uh, level because they will be based on the laws of quantum physics. And what that means is that we can do uh, computing tasks that are outside of the reach of even the best computers today. So as you can imagine, that means we can perhaps be doing calculations faster. Things like searches, which we know searching through big data is a huge application. That's one example of how this will change how we interact with data. Or we can talk about communication. So we want to uh, make sure that all of the data we have is private and encrypted. And quantum offers a way to build encryption that can never be hacked, no matter how good the hackers are. So that's yet another incredibly transformative example of how society can change. Whenever technology offers us enormous power, there's always a reason to worry. In the end, how we use the technology is going to be in our hands. I believe that there's a huge amount of potential good that this technology can bring to our society. But given that you know, we, there's always un, unintentional consequences, if we work to address those risks ahead of time, quantum can transform society in the way that we would all be included in this wonderful quantum revolution. A quantum internet would be very different from the current internet that we all use, and I don't think it's going to replace it. Because honestly, we don't need a quantum internet to do emails or use WhatsApp or anything like this. What might happen is that there might be a quantum communication and encryption network that is working with the current internet to be able to improve privacy and security of all of our communications. And a quantum internet in the far future might allow us to do things that we cannot do with current internet capabilities, such as teleporting of information. I think for the Internet of Things includes devices and technologies over a very large spectrum. So we can't assume that quantum will impact it in just one way. If I had to pick, then I'd say that one of the things that it will certainly impact is all of the communicating that's happening between in the Internet itself, right? Because the one thing that connects IoT would be all of them communicating in one network. And, and quantum, of course, is the one way to really secure such a network and build encryption and security and privacy into it in ways that we cannot do today. So maybe that's the big impact. Quantum being a technology is basically going to impact us in whatever ways we as a society decide to use it. And corporations will of course play a role in that, as will governments, as will individuals and researchers and everybody else who has a stake in this. So I think the corporate world will have to think hard about what is their social responsibility. We're talking about some of the biggest issues and biggest challenges that we face today, such as security, privacy, healthcare, the environment, all of which may be impacted by quantum. Therefore, I think, I hope we can address this before the technology is fully rolled out rather than run to catch up and regulate and control later. So I think there's a big conversation that we need to have where we talk about 
our responsibility as a society and not just corporate responsibility. I think across the globe we have to have, uh, have conversations around this and that's not actually happening. We're so excited about the technology but we're not talking about the impact and what our responsibilities are and I hope we can do that more. Quantum computers can potentially help us address some of our biggest challenges, for example, in climate change, how do we use energy more efficiently. On the other hand, the computers themselves will be using significant amounts of energy. Therefore, we have to be very careful about rolling out this technology in an energy efficient and responsible manner.